Welcome to Valheim. I managed to reach my base and my boat is filled with iron. I rearranged a few things. I have more boxes on top and uh, I reorganized these boxes that I had before. They were all full. These are the drop off boxes basically. And now I have the meads here and I rearranged this thing too. And I got the armor and the tools up there. So let's just start bringing all this iron because today I would like to do new things. For example, an iron pickaxe. So let's just bring the card over. Since I'm here in the base, I think I'm just gonna eat some stuff for some stamina. I do have the food on me, so let's just eat some... Uh, let's see what I got here. Yeah, let's eat some of those, some of that, and one of those. Why not? There we go. Maybe getting the cart a little bit closer. I did manage to bring the boat all the way in here. Uh, it hit a few spots, but I fixed the boat, so it should be fine. It was a long trip. Basically, in the last episode, I was all the way down here in the river. I backed it out and I managed to turn myself around. I did find two good containers for a mountain. And today, after smelting all the iron, I'm gonna go on foot in this direction. Because I figure with a portal, I can always just bring the stuff in. Keep picking up stuff on the way. And actually see if I can find a trader on foot. I did find it once while sailing on the boat. So, uh, but this time didn't work out that well. So let's see if we can just put it all in the cart over there. It's too far, isn't it? Of course it is. But let's drop it off again. Holy moly. Oh, that was good. Nice. Let's just put it a little bit closer. Without falling in the water. Like this. Let's see if it works. Come on. There we go. Nice. Sweet. And there we go. Nicely done. Let's put it all in the smelters and let's start making some new stuff. I do have a bunch of coal here. So that's nice. Let's fill it up. Three smelters will definitely speed things up, but I kind of like the way it looks like this. They're really symmetrical. I placed this block, so I think I'm gonna keep it this way, just to... That's fine, I can do something else. And for example, I would like to check a new spear. I haven't used spears on this playthrough, I actually thought I, I have done one, but I haven't. And there's this one, Ancient Bark Spear. It looks pretty cool, it does spears 55. And for example, what do I have for peers? I have nothing for Pierce, but uh, this one does 61 blunt and it's a level 2. So this Ancient Bark Spear is pretty cool, it's only 10 iron and I do have a bunch of Troll Hide and Ancient Bark, so I think I'm gonna give it a go with this one. Uh, I don't think though, I have any spare iron. I got 6. Okay, so when this thing comes out, I think I'm gonna start by doing an Ancient Spear. I already have level 2 armor in terms of iron. And I think I have the pants there. They should be also level 2, maybe. Let's see what would be... So we must say here how much armor he gives, right? It's 16, minus 5% movement speed. If I upgrade it to level 3, it's gonna go 2 more points. I'm not sure. Is it worth it? It's only 10 iron. What about the helmet? It's also 10 iron. It goes to 18 from 16. Uh, I'm not sure. But let's just take a look, for example, at the pickaxe. How much will it be? 20. I don't think I'm gonna upgrade the pickaxe because, as far as I know, the only thing that upgrading a tool does is increase its durability because the yield should be the same. And uh, I can always come back through the portal to repair the pickaxe, so I think I'm just gonna do it and use it as level 1. This way I should save myself a bunch of iron. So let's just pick up this 6 here. I only need 10. And there's also ancient tree bark, which I should have a bunch here. Let's pick up maybe 20. I think it's just 10, but let's pick up 20. And I also have the troll hide. So let's do one of those spears. Should be on top. It's not, so I'm missing something, right? Where's the spear, man? Oh, there it is. Cool. Ancient bark spear. And to upgrade. It's just five. Oh, yeah. So let's upgrade this baby. I'm just gonna momentarily drop this stuff for the portal here. And that's sweet. There you go. I got myself a new spear. That's awesome. So let's pick up more. I already got that. It's just a little bit more iron. 
Nice, got the rest of the buff. So let me check what will be the damage upgrade on the spear. So currently it does 55 pierce, block force 20. It's kind of the same as this one. So if I upgrade it from 55, it goes to 61. So I think I'm definitely gonna upgrade it. Why not? I already got a level four forge, I believe, or is it five? It's level five, yeah. So let's upgrade this baby. What am I missing? Upgrade. Level 3, it's 10 more. And it's gonna go to 67 peers. Hmm, block force 30. I'm tempted. I feel tempted to do so. So I think I will. So let's pick up 5 more. And, uh, I mean, I have more than 200 iron. I think I should have enough to do what I need. Let's just fill it up again. I'm gonna retire the, the pickaxe. Alrighty. So let's put it there. The axe. Should I go for an axe? I mean, the bronze axe is able to cut any tree so far. So I'm not sure. I think I'm also gonna put in the mace. Maybe I'll keep the mace. I'm not sure. I am, however, carrying the stack breaker. I think it could be useful. Maybe not for wolves. But for something else, else is, it might. I don't know. I think the stack breaker could be a good help. So uh, I think I'm gonna try to keep it. But definitely I have to make some choices. I can't just carry all the weapons with me. I don't think that's very efficient. It's gonna be a while to smelt it all down, but uh, it will be done eventually. Let's see if I got enough for a level 3 spear. I do. Bank it up. There we go. So now I got a really nice spear. I think I'm gonna put it here. Skip this thing over there. And uh, I'm also gonna bring the use bombs because who knows? Maybe they'll be useful. Against bone mass, it wasn't very useful, but uh, against something else, it might. They're poison, so who knows? Let's just go to sleep, and I want to check also on the farm because I did plant some onions. There they are, and it looks like they're ready to go. Awesome. So uh, I was gonna go to sleep, but in, f in fact, let's just take care of it. I kept all the carrots, I basically just planted all the turnips and filled it up the rest of the space with carrots. I, I mean, I don't know if I'm still gonna need them more in the future. So why not just put him in? I also found another hunt, B, so there it is. I think I have skeletons outside. Yeah, I think he was firing that brute and he definitely lost. There goes the brute. Good job, brute. So let's see how many turnip seeds I got here. I planted most of them. I think I have about 20 back in the base. So let's see how many seeds. 150. So I think I'm gonna replant all these 9 onions and the rest fill it up with these turnips. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Let's just pick up some more honey too. There you go. Unfortunately, I think I left the cultivator on the other base. Well, let's bring up this coal. And uh, I don't have good wood on me, so let's fill these things up again. There you go. So let's see how much turnips I got. 15 here. Yeah, I dropped some, so let's drop the carrots. That's good. I got a nice carriage going on. Carriage as in lots of carrots. You, you know. It's a special type of English that we do around here. Okay, let's just drop this thing here for now. Let's pick up the cultivator. There it is. The number one tool for farming. And, uh, okay. Let's just fill it up with onions and turnips. Let's see how it looks. Seed onion. There we go.
Okay, that's pretty good. So I had 150. I got 38 more for the next harvest. That's nice. Let's let it cook. I hope I gave it enough room. I think I did, but you never know. But uh, okay, that's nice. Pick up some more coal. Let's maybe just fix up that thing. Fix it all up. There you go. And let's keep there the cultivator. Cool. So uh, let's see. This thing is done. Okay. Let's fill it up with 20 more. So the seeds. Let's see. Do I have a box for seeds? I do. So here, what I did was I put together dandelion and thistle. That's why it says dental. Because, I mean, I don't have that much. They can be in the same box. And this way I have this one for the seeds. So there you go. Got the shrooms. Here I got fangs. But in fact, I have the wolf fangs on this one. Which is no. And I believe there's a recipe for this thing. And I also have the wolf head back in the other base. But let's see. Might be in the, in the forge, actually. Because there's a cape that gives me frost resistance. I think it's called wolf, wolf cape. Or something like that. Is it in the workbench? Maybe it is. Let's see. Root, troll, deer hide, troll, roots, hoe. I don't have it. Maybe I haven't found something that it's required for for it to, to be done. I'm not seeing it, man. It's a cape, definitely. But it's not showing. Yeah, maybe I'm missing something. I want to recheck the forge. Yeah, it's definitely not here. I don't think it is. I also want to, also want to check the crafting. To see if I have something new. I do. This is an upgrade for the workbench. And I already got all of this. So that's cool. I'm going to be able to do it. I think I'm also missing the forge to wreck. The smith sandville. I don't think I have it here either. So how far can the forge go? Level 10. Holy moly. I already got 1, 2, 3, 4. The level 5. But I mean I do have the resources for those. So let's try to do this tool shelf. There you go. Let's pick up some fine wood. And let's leave the fangs for later, because apparently I don't have everything that it needs. I think it's for obsidian. And... Uh, oh, I was looking at the wrong one. Yeah, that's the one. Tool shelf and four iron. Good. There you go. Let's see if I can stick it in there. Does it hang? Or does it go on the floor? Uh, I guess it must hang. Oh, I don't have a place for it. Okay. So, oh, it goes there. Oh, but it looks a little, the pole gets in the way. What if I put it on this pole? What about hanging over there? Okay, so it goes here. I think it looks cool there. Nice. Look at that thing. Awesome. So let's see if it, unlo if it opened up something. No, it's just an upgrade to be able to go a level higher, isn't it? So let's see what will be, for example, to upgrade everything that I have, which is not much. It's just two things. But let's upgrade the stack breaker. 30, 30 bones. Okay. And uh, 60 trophies. I think I have it all. But I'm gonna have to go to the other base. Got some more coal. Pick it up. And let's see. Because I think I have two wolf heads. There they are. And I need it. Also, six of those. Sweet. Let's see if I drop something else here. I got a lot of carrots there. Got a bunch of money. I think I should also already be able to buy the belt and something else with all the money that I got here. But well, that's okay. Uh, okay, that's all, I believe. The farm. Still going. So the heads. I think I'm gonna leave them here on the snow box. Because I have a feeling that that cape requires one of these heads. So there you go. Well, let's take breaker. It's also cool wood. So let's pick it up. I think it was 15. I don't have that much. But I did replant a bunch of trees. Here. I got a few firs, a few pines. Also a few birches. And I did a big old forest. All these trees were not here. I planted them all. It's more than 100, I believe. And I think it was going to be kind of cool to get a troll to come all the way here. And help me deforest this area. I should be able to get a bunch of wood out of these things. Oh, it's a deer. It's not a boar. Okay, let's leave it be. So I'm going to try to get a little bit of that. I might also try to get a troll. To get me a bunch of pine cones. It's just fun to do that. Let me think. It was also 30 bones. And I think it was something else. Maybe boar hide. 
Let's pick up a stack. Maybe not the first stack. Maybe just half will be enough. No, it's still too much. Holy moly. Yeah. Let's see if I can upgrade the stack breaker. Stack break it up. Nice. So, max quality is level 4. That's awesome. What about the troll leather pants? Yeah, let's upgrade them. Why not? So, he goes to level 12 armor. And currently, he's just 10. So, it's definitely worth it. I got a bunch of troll hide here. Why am I keeping it? Am I right? There you go. Upgrade it up. Nice. They give me some mobility. That's why I'm not using the iron pants. Because the helmet and the chest already slows me down substantially. And I do enjoy my movement speed. So that's why I'm kind of mixing it up. To get the armor from the iron and the movement from the troll. I think it's a good combo. So let's check on the iron again. There you go. It's all empty. Let's fill it up with another stash. I got 29, uh, 36. I think that's enough to do a pickaxe. I think it was just 20. Let's just a, drop a coal in the honey. I don't need to carry around all of this neither. So let's just drop all the meads and stuff. They do weigh some. Not much, but they do weigh some. Let's also drop off like the eggs and stuff to be able to carry more. I don't need a stack breaker on me right now. Uh, I'm gonna keep these two in case I get attacked over here or something. So let's just see. Can't take 20. Holy moly. No so pickaxe, where are you? I, I'm gonna need you, buddy. Iron pickaxe. 20 and 3 core wood. Nicely done. Let's just stop this more momentarily. I'm gonna pick up more because... Yeah, but I'm not gonna upgrade it, am I? Yeah, I don't think so. Iron pickaxe. Because, as you can see here, I don't know which stat would be for yield. It does pierce, 33. If I upgrade this thing, it does more pierce. But it's pierce against rocks too. I'm not sure. I don't know if it is. I don't think I'm gonna upgrade it, at least not for now. So, there you go. I got myself an iron pickaxe. I would definitely like to see that wolf belt. That wolf cape, but I don't know. I guess I need something else. So let's check. For example, the forge tool rack. Maybe I have to add it to unlock a few more things. So it's 15 iron. And some normal wood, apparently. So let's pick up half. There you go. And let's see if I can install the forge tool rack. Maybe it goes up there too. Oh, nice. Look at it. It looks awesome. Forge level 6. When it unlocks something, it shows up there. So I don't think it unlocked anything. It's just uh, to be able to upgrade it further. Okay. I also want to see something else in the building. Do I have the hexagonal, hexagonal door? No. I still don't have it. Furniture. I have the thrones. I also have, I believe, a few more banners. And that's pretty much it. Crafting. I think I've added it all. I was also looking forward for something new for the cauldron, but I don't think I have it. But in fact, I don't think I've added the smith's anvil. So let's see if I can pick up 20 more iron. It's also how much wood? It's only 5 wood. And uh, I still have a bunch to cook here, so I think it should be okay. I'm gonna also drop the good food here. I don't need to carry around. Let's just eat some of those. And uh, for meat. So the boar is just black soup. Uh, let's eat some deer. That's fine. That's good. I got a bunch of stamina. That's nice. It's definitely looking awesome. With those tool racks over there. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's nice. Let's also check if there's any fish around here. Sometimes they just drop here on my dock. I'm also going to need a bunch of stone. And I was thinking, I don't need to mine copper. At least not for now. Apparently there's no fish here. That would be a good way to get stone. For the iron, we don't get stone. It's on the on the crypt, right? 
So I think maybe while I'm getting silver, I'm gonna get a lot of stone. So I guess that's how I'm gonna get it, because silver should be in the mountains and stuff. Yeah, so, uh, let's see. Okay, I got the 20 here, a little bit more. Nope, I still can't carry it all. Well, let's do the other one, the anvil. Let's, oh, it's a big way. Can it fit there? Oh boy. So many, so much room and I can't fit it anywhere. What's the deal here? This is for the forge. It doesn't go. Oh man. How much room do you need, man? Okay. So let's take this thing out of there. And now he goes. But he has to be all the way here. Let's put it a little close. And now... Let's pick up that one and try to put the cooler back there. Doesn't go. Oh man. So I only have one or the other. I can have two. So I can have it all the way here. But not there. Oh boy. What a conundrum. I don't know why I can't put it there. But okay. Wait a second. I found a spot for it. Okay. You stay there. Forge level 7. Holy moly. We keep going up in levels. But I still haven't done anything new. I think I'm gonna upgrade the mace one a little bit more. Blunt 55. No. That's to make a new one. That's That's right. I could also go for the Huntsman's Bow to get 48 pierce against 45. The mace will go to 67 from 61. Well, let's see. The next boss is Modder. I don't know if he's uh, weak to blunt. Let's see how the iron is. Uh, I still got a bunch. I think, I think I'm gonna do level 3 for the mace. Yeah, let's go level 3. And we'll be done with it. So how, many, how much will it be? 20. I got nine. Okay, so let's just wait a little bit more. I'm all the way up here, so I think I'm gonna follow up on here, go through the shoreline and go in this direction, because I did find, but this one is a little bit far. And uh, let's see if this island actually goes to this mountain. That's going to be kind of cool to reach there. If not, I can always just bring a boat and cross the river. But I'm definitely going to go on foot to see maybe there's a trader somewhere here. Because there could be black forest. In fact, I think there is. Seems to be... Yeah, there is. There's black forest. So the trader could be here. Who knows? I can just pick up stuff on the way and stuff. I think I got a good combo. So I got the mace. I got a really nice spear. I got a nice bow. I think I should also upgrade the bow a little bit. I got the big X. The only thing that I'm missing, really, is... First, I think I'm also going to change up the armor. If I'm going to go through the meadows in the Black Forest, I don't need to carry the iron armor. So, I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to bring the troll armor. And then, when it's time to go to the mountain or something, I can always just come back through the portal and change it up. Instead of carrying it, this way I can bring more stuff with me. And uh, the other thing is, I'm gonna need... Yeah, I, I don't need to carry the, the wishbone for now, neither. I'm gonna carry the bronze axe, in case I need some wood or something. And that's basically how I'm gonna go. Let's see, if I find a trader, that's gonna be awesome. Of course, I also forgot the stuff for the portal. And uh, there he is. And uh, let's bring... Uh, this food is actually not too bad. Look at that, the stamina goes really up. So the Queen's Gem. Let's see if I have more berries. I might just do a little bit more. I got nine. I could do deer stew. Uh, yeah, I think I'm actually going to do some deer stew. And maybe some carrot soup. Cook a little bit. What am I missing? Oh, it's the carrots, of course. The crucial part of the carrot soup. There you go, so I'm gonna use the Deer Stew as uh, HP food and I'm gonna use a couple for stamina since I'm gonna do a lot of running I think that's what I'm gonna do To go through the Black Forest I don't need anything much higher than that So I think I'm gonna bring the Muck Shake And let's see what can I do The Turnip Stew is actually even better It's 3 turnips and 1 boar meat 60 against 55 Yeah, let's do some Turnip Stew I do have a few boars And a few turnips
There you go. It's even better than the mugshake. And it gives me 2 HP per tick for 25 minutes. And this was just 20 minutes, 1 HP per tick. So it's definitely a, a, a better choice. It's a little expensive on the turnip side. And... Uh, uh, but but I think it's worth it. Five of those, that's nice. And I have a lot of stamina. There he is, cool. And uh, I can always use the muck shape for later. And apparently someone is attacking. Let's see who it is. So fo it's foggy out. The brute is here. How the hell did you come all the way here from the other base, dude? So let's try the the spear, shall we? Oh yeah. And I think I could even parry him. Look at that, he blocks very well the Brute. I mean, the Brute is really strong. It's a dwarf, but uh, nonetheless, I'm wearing troll armor. It did very well. Okay, I think I approve the spear. Let's see the throw. Oh yeah, throws very well. I think I hear more, but I can't see them. So let's leave him be. Huntsman's bow. 20, mace, 20. So I think I'm gonna use this 40 here. I think it's gonna help. So let's upgrade one of them. Maybe the 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 mace. There it is. And then the level will be thirty. But I think I'm just gonna go with level three. That's already pretty good. It's already an improvement. And I definitely want to keep as much high as I can because I don't know what I'm gonna need it for. One thing that I, I shouldn't have done was I should have left one portal here in the swamp because this thing might be bigger, could be more crypt and stuff and I might want to return to the swamp but I didn't drop a, a portal there. So now I basically have number th 6 which is that one and number 3 inactive so I can use these two so I think uh, if I find a trader I'm gonna use one of these two to leave it in the trader. I think that's a good option. Kind of want to see how this blue torch works. How does it look? Oh yeah, it looks awesome. So we can use Grey Dwarf Eyes on it. Oh, look at that. We can use eyes as uh, fuel. It looks pretty sweet. Not gonna lie. Maybe not here. Maybe somewhere else. Well, let's see. Oh yeah, I think I'm gonna use it here. I think like there is gonna look pretty cool. Nice. Look at that blue torch. Awesome. So let's pick up a couple more eyes. So I didn't get the eyes back when I destroyed the torch. It's like the resin. Oh, I see. So I gotta be careful putting down these things. I didn't get the, the eyes back. I got 20 iron on me. So let's see how much is it for the huntsman's bow. 10 fine wood. 10 feathers and hide. Okay. I think I also still have the feathers here. I do. I actually didn't know that I was gonna need them for this. I thought it would be just for arrows, but apparently not. Huntsman's bow. Let's go from Pierce 45 to 48. Nicely done. And with the iron arrows, that should be awesome. I still don't have a lot of obsidian, but so I'm not going to do those arrows for now. There's also the poison arrows, which also take obsidian. Interesting. And the frost arrows, which I'm not sure against which enemies they will be good. I guess enemies that would use fire, maybe frost arrows are good. So I guess maybe not in the snow is a good idea to use frost arrows. I think I'm definitely going to bring fire arrows for the snow. I think they might help. The poison arrows could be good too, but uh, the obsidian is the issue. But now I should be able to pick it up with this nice iron pickaxe. I think I'm in definitely good conditions to get all of it. So okay, I think I'm just going to keep on smelting a little bit more iron and this tin too. I still got a bunch. Still got 30 there. And I got some more here, but it's definitely nice to have more. And uh, for the next episodes, that's the plan. I'm gonna go on foot, explore this side, see if I can find a trader, and hopefully also reach this mountain. And once I do, I'm just gonna set up a portal, come back, get the iron armor and the wishbone, and go back there and see if I can find the eggs, the model location, and everything in between. Because the mountain does have a lot to offer. 